Welcome to the very first episode of Not Just a Fad. It's your host Hannah here. Um, today I have a guest with me, Diana Gonzalez. She's the president of the SFA Student Fashion Association at Sac State. Did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi. Thank you, Hannah, for the introduction. Yes, um, my name is Diana. I am president of the current Student Fashion Association. I'm also just a senior here on campus. So yeah, fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I have a little icebreaker for my guests. Mm-hmm. Since it is a fashion podcast, we'll just be sharing the details of our OOTD for sure. outfit of the day. Okay. Um, I'll go first. Go ahead. So you'll only see the top half, but yeah. this is a sweater vest. Mm-hmm. I thrifted mm-hmm. and then I'm just wearing like Vans, but yeah, pretty much. Thrifted, it. I like it. Yeah, thank it's you. cute. You know, they're very much in style right Definitely. now. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, this shirt is from a little boutique. I used to live in Modesto back home. It's this boutique called Close Avenue. It's a hidden gem. I always recommend it if you're ever in Modesto. Um, my pants are just these black straight leg jeans. I bought them from Express. I work there. Discount is very generous. So Ooh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. You love those and I, discounts. Yeah. And my shoes are just platform boots. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to cover is current fashion trends and like controversial trends definitely I guess. yeah let's get into so it so the first one is maternity fashion mm-hmm. we all know that rihanna she's always been in the fashion industry mm-hmm. but she is currently pregnant um congrats riri yeah for real <laughs> everyone's like where's her new music right but we're not gonna be anytime yeah. soon <laughs> <laughs> everyone thinks like oh no she's gonna make new music now no like, I- new inspiration but I don't no, think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, her like maternity fashion has been like mm-hmm. really nice. If you've been seeing mm-hmm. her photos, I have been. Yeah. And then I feel like everyone's getting into it, like mm-hmm. getting inspiration from Definitely. her specifically, mm-hmm. especially the first photo she posted when the announcement. Yeah, yeah. the announcement <laughs> one. It was like yeah. that bright mm-hmm. pink. I think that was probably jacket. my favorite look of her so far. Mm-hmm. I like how she's redefining. Like maternity wear. I don't even think maternity wear is really a thing. It's kind of outdated. Yeah. I feel people should just dress as how they are. Exactly. Just pregnant. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah. with like Rihanna, you know, exactly. how she is a she's fashion icon. Prime example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And then like she's wearing like these chains, mm-hmm. which are really nice. Mm-hmm. It's like a gold accent too. Yeah. So definitely. That adds a lot of. And obviously her makeup has to be good because she's owner of Fenty Beauty. Exactly. Nothing. I expect nothing less. I know. Yeah. And then she's really been into like all black outfits mm-hmm. too. Like recently. her most recent one, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. the one at the fashion week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was wearing this all black sheer look. I I think it was great. I really like. I love how she's keeping her element of personal style with her just overall looks. Because again, like, you shouldn't have to change exactly. how you dress just because you're you know quote in maternity clothes. You should just dress however you want. That goes for fashion every day, though. Mm-hmm. I believe so. Yeah, so. it's always like a twist with her. Mm-hmm. I feel like she's really paving the way for you know maybe because we yeah. don't really see celebrities out and about That's when they're true. you know I, I don't know i've seen like old pictures of like there's mm-hmm. this comparison picture of rihanna mm-hmm. in her maternity clothes and um i think it's kim kardashian oh that's right mm-hmm. yeah she was also wearing like an all black thing that's right but for sure like rihanna's getting more attention i love that. it we're going in a new direction and i love it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and also um another celebrity that i've been noticing is shay mitchell Oh, Shay Mitchell, that's From right. Fiddle Liars. Yes, yes, that's so she's right. she's also pregnant with her second child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, everyone's saying how the inspiration is Rihanna, and I'm not surprised. It's no, Rihanna. she's great. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then her and ASAP Rocky, you know, they're like coordinating outfits too. I love that. Which yeah. is amazing. Obviously, the star to me is Rihanna. She will no. always be the star. <laughs> exactly. It's Rihanna. What do you expect? I know. But yeah, even Vogue is like, writing stories about her Mm -hmm. how it's like what the what do they say rihanna's maternity looks are a celebration of body positivity and individual fashion definitely um but yeah especially just fashion in general you know Mm -hmm. it's like it ties back into that body positivity body Mm -hmm. inclusive um with her shows you expect nothing less from rihanna because her shows her own fashion lines are inclusive to different body types Mm -hmm. um so the fact that she's just proudly displaying her body positivity in her everyday outfits it's yeah. no surprise especially her most mm-hmm. recent one since you know it's like mm-hmm. very like showy exactly and it's, it's not like, like lingi- i'm not trying to hide it i'm just being myself authentically exactly and i think that's what we're here for yeah and at the end of the day like celebrities they're still like humans too exactly <laughs> i think we often forget it though exactly yeah because they have all this you know status but mm-hmm. it goes back to your roots exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so next topic is gonna be euphoria fashion oh, so dying to talk about that i know it just um 
before you just ended so just i don't ended. know what we're all gonna do sunday nights now <laughs> i don't know i know i won't know what to do literally i would look forward to it every mm-hmm. sunday me too and then especially like i feel like this season mm-hmm. their fashion has definitely like they upped their game they definitely you can just tell by the budget <laughs> they oh. had these teenage quote-unquote teenagers with yeah. like jacques mousse and like different designer brands i'm like yeah i love it it's for their show purpose but mm-hmm. Expe- <laughs> i love it yeah especially my favorite has to be maddie oh maddie you know? yes like, i love seeing her style evolution loved it exactly mm-hmm. like her i feel like her fashion for this season specifically it's mm-hmm. very y2k inspired definitely which is totally like in right now absolutely everyone's like going back to that mm-hmm. but then there's some people who's saying how like because obviously people are calling it like euphoria fashion euphoria fashion. but mm-hmm. but it has its roots in y2k exactly mm-hmm. i Especially would say here. it is definitely a modernized take on the like y2k aesthetic mm-hmm. um maddie's the perfect example of that i feel like a lot of their shows pull in from the y2k aesthetic but i think maddie really is a prime example of it mm-hmm. um she, you can definitely see like her personality through the clothes which i think was the ultimate goal yeah. you know the character and also her makeup for sure the makeup as well i know that the makeup there were certain rules on the makeup like you couldn't wear foundation i know maddie was the only one allowed oh, to wear foundation on set mm-hmm. okay. so maybe like in the close-ups on like maybe like cassie's care like cassie you could see like her skin through the makeup because mm-hmm. they weren't allowed to wear foundation on set yeah. only maddie was to kind of like contrast the very natural look that cassie wore That's and all the other characters yeah it's mm-hmm. funny too because you know like cassie the whole season she's been trying to be yeah. maddie because nate and all mm-hmm. that but yeah you know like no one can do it can't as, like, better than maddie. The doer. yeah yeah and <laughs> then that one like when they were matching oh my gosh i that sh- that single scene made me cringe so hard because it's like you're not even trying to hide it anymore Mm -hmm. it's like you're genuinely just trying to emulate the essence of maddie but you can't do that you're your own person you're your own person your own aesthetic your own look it's the fact that it goes it ties back into your character i'm aware but that single scene where she's like wait when maddie realizes wait what's going on here and she walks away and how that remember how that was the one scene where nate actually like Notice kind her. of acknowledge i wouldn't even say acknowledge well, just looked at her yeah which girl you can do so much but better. that also Come says on. a lot obviously like yeah. about maddie's character like mm-hmm. she's definitely she was just being herself and then here's cassie just trying to emulate this look which was a matching like a matching set yeah I remember. yeah they were just different colors mm-hmm. and then to go. Mm-hmm. definitely with maddie she's definitely like the fashionista it girl mm-hmm. for the um for euphoria overall mm-hmm. but she definitely has the most referenced looks mm-hmm. for sure exactly but I remember if you like compare her mm-hmm. outfits from first season mm-hmm. and second in the second season, she's kind of getting um, getting a sense of who she is. Definitely. You know? I was going to say, yes. yeah, like she's growing up now. They're about to I'm pretty sure she's a senior. I think so. They don't really clarify in Euphoria yeah. High. We don't really I mean, know I just know that like I'm pretty sure Rue and um, Lexi mm-hmm. are they're younger okay but i think maddie and them are like all seniors but you know like oh, she's okay okay yeah, yeah i think you're right but mm-hmm. she's trying to her outfits she's trying to like figure out who she is after definitely. high school mm-hmm. so it's a lot more mature looks which yeah I love they definitely her. have a more mature look to her i guess i think that in season one she's kind of experimenting with colors and mm-hmm. silhouettes we have that famous imga like set you know yeah. that was everywhere i know um, everyone was wearing it for halloween yeah exactly i remember that she also had this like um I think the matching set that she had with Cassie in season two, I feel like we'll see a lot of that too. Mm-hmm. Just because she has these iconic looks that fit to her character. Um, but yeah, I love seeing, again, the evolution of Maddie on Euphoria. You can see her maturity showing in every scene. It's kind of like shows through her looks. I loved it. My favorite one was the Marc Jacobs dress she wore on her birthday. The oh, black one. Oh, yeah. I love that it's look. It's super like simple, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. but it's like the black really. And then there's the there's like accents on mm-hmm. it at the top the lace uh-huh mm-hmm. it was very y2k and it was actually a gift from her friend devon lee carlson the, oh mm-hmm. i read that somewhere yeah. that's <laughs> yes. wow that's yeah. really cool mm-hmm. it was really cool and then her first outfit the first episode mm-hmm. which was also like this black mini dress mm-hmm. with the oh, cutouts the one by the mexican designer that's right mm-hmm. yes great i love that look yeah. really... I, we're definitely gonna see that one for halloween too yeah i can see it i already know everyone's gonna mm-hmm. dress up as everyone's gonna dress up as maddie and cassie like matching <gasps> that's gonna we're predicting that's gonna it a, that's gonna be a trend for sure we're gonna manifest it we're manifesting <laughs> it so next topic is actually gonna be talking about fashion week okay but i want to talk about 
what do you consider being a good model a good model yeah that's a good question (laughs) (laughs) it's a good question because a good model is someone that you know showing up improving every day people like to assume being a model is an easy career or it's a you know a career that doesn't lead anywhere but it does take a lot of work Mm -hmm. it does take a lot of discipline and you know having someone just look at you for your physical attributes all day long can be exhausting I'm sure it can be Mm -hmm. I love that the modeling industry is changing you know step by step it's changing a good model is someone that you know puts their all into their work and really not only I guess I grew up watching America's Next Top Model. I don't know if you did. I feel like everyone did. Yeah. uh, Those were, I look back at it and I'm like, a lot of those things that they would talk about, like, it was really toxic. And I'm glad that we're stepping away from that. Um, But a good model is someone that is true to themselves and obviously has a way of expressing themselves through whatever their garment they're wearing. Someone Mm -hmm. that is constantly striving to improve because I know not every look will look, require the same kind of um, physical appearance. So someone that's constantly improving Mm -hmm. is a good model yeah definitely i agree like Mm -hmm. my favorite models are probably like the hadid sisters hadid sisters yeah so like they're like for sure like models models like yeah the hadid sisters they are incredible yeah they literally like rock everything like they can wear anything for any model again yeah it goes back to like whatever different look you're doing you need to present yourself differently i think the hadid sisters are prime especially i want to shout out bella hadid here (laughs) because bella hadid has you can just see the improvement and throughout her career Mm -hmm. the way that she can give you editorial she can give you a magazine cover she can give you any kind of look and coming from um i guess a more privileged family you know they didn't they grew up with money they're the Hadid family right Mm -hmm. they have the means to do any career they want and they chose to be models I think the fact that you can just tell that the effort is being put by Bella and Gigi to constantly improve is worth mentioning Mm -hmm. because Bella Hadid is not the same model that she was a couple years ago oh I bet you know what I mean yeah the Hadid sisters are really especially when I remember um Gigi Mm -hmm. when she was pregnant you remember the iconic (laughs) she did the Jacques Moose runway show and she has that iconic hair flip with the dress and everything I loved that show um and that was just and she and and she improvised that it wasn't even planned I I didn't even know she was pregnant then a lot of people didn't know I didn't know yeah I I didn't know know. and you can't (laughs) obviously you can't tell like no you couldn't tell but that color specifically like it kind of it really complimented her skin yeah it's like and, a yeah, neutral definitely and mm-hmm. it's interesting because the hadid sisters they have really different complementary colors what mm-hmm. looks good on bella might not look so good yeah, on yeah and they have I, I think they have very different styles too they definitely like do street style mm-hmm. i know a lot of people have been looking at bella for her street style mm-hmm. she's always in new york you know she finds a way them. to pull off the most like i guess fashionable outfits with just having this different eclectic style she mm-hmm. has a really eclectic style but also like the model off duty she handles that mm-hmm. she is i love that she experiments with different looks i love that for definitely. her definitely but we can let's also talk about Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. <laughs> okay. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff on like social media saying how like I don't know if you've seen the video of her walking at the recent show for Off White. Off White. I did see it. I actually just saw it. Yeah, <laughs> the a little black dress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of um, different like opinions on that. Mm-hmm. Like Kendall, yeah, she's, like, beautiful, you know? She's the highest paying model exactly. in the industry. Yeah, but, like, some people just don't think she's a good model. And I am one of them. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so she did a recent cover for ID, uh, out of body cover. One of her best work. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you guys have a chance to see it, but definitely look at it. ID, out of body cover. She did a great job. And I think that's in part with, like, the stylist, photography, um, all that good stuff, creative director. Um, but kendall jenner being the highest paid model and if you see the walk for yourself what did you think about the walk no yeah i i agree like she like what she was wearing like it it looked nice on her the design was great and honestly kendall jenner is like a i guess you could say even like the industry standard Mm -hmm. for models yeah you know know, like she has you know the body for it Mm -hmm. like she's tall absolutely and then um with the heels too like Mm -hmm. it like shows more of like the how the dress fits on her i mm-hmm, guess yeah definitely but i don't know how she walked it was kind of like she didn't care yeah, yeah. it was interesting because mm-hmm. well i know kendall started modeling when she was younger she did mm-hmm. but i feel like a majority of when she was younger it was also she was focusing more on their reality show that's also true mm-hmm. yeah so i feel like there's more people who had more experience mm-hmm. who could have like 
done that done those shows or yeah specific yeah mm-hmm. her sh- the shows that she's been doing yeah she, kendall jenner is definitely a polarizing model because either people love her or they don't love her mm-hmm. um kendall jenner again you, you you said it yourself like she started off at a really young age just like but again just like the hadid sisters no yeah but them i feel like from the very beginning that was their main like focus mm-hmm. and yeah. for i think for kendall it was more like oh i want to be it but it's not like my main priority yeah like that's the kind of vibe off, i got mm-hmm. when she was starting off it was kind of just like a side thing a side thing yeah yeah, yeah like a side gig like but, oh i do um, it every now and then exactly but now she's definitely been getting she's into definitely it. a staple um in every popular main show um i don't know if you saw the versace the last collection they had bella hadid they had Gigi hadid they had kendall they have all the major players in terms mm-hmm. of models um but you, there's just this striking difference between how they carry themselves um definitely. kendall jenner again she's the highest paid model but i think that uh, she's highest paid model due to in part to her family connections that's also we have to take into account we can't just ignore the fact that she's you know a privileged individual um but the fact that what she does with it what has she done with it she i i don't think she there's very few pieces of uh i guess art she's been in like the recent one i just mentioned id out of body cover one of the best ones she's done in a while i don't say i keep up with her necessarily mm-hmm. but you can see that she, she has potential to do this great work yeah. but i don't necessarily see it in every shoot whereas other models i'm sure would be so like grateful to even have the opportunities that she has mm-hmm. and she, they would bring it to the table whereas for her it's like oh i'm just doing it because i have the accessibility to it yeah and mm-hmm. i'm not saying she doesn't have like she has good style too she like does. street style yeah it's so does. nice like mm-hmm. so many people like base their like style off of hers you know mm-hmm. a lot of them do you know they're off of duty course looks mm-hmm. like but yeah i'd rather not that i don't want to see her on the runway but like no not at all not as often as like i feel like other models who's been who like, have, training have like so their much whole, potential mm-hmm. have been training have years of experience do the work mm-hmm. show up to the castings exactly it's just kind of it makes me a little sad because there's so many models with the same kind of potential to do what she does but they just aren't given the same opportunities yeah. But the last one I want to talk about is Kaya Gerber. Kaya Gerber. So I obviously, yeah, I love her. Too. I love her street style too. All of the street styles are kind of like. I specifically look up to her. She has like this kind of like androgynous street style, which I really like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we all know her mom is Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Yes. So Supermodel Cindy mm-hmm. Crawford. Exactly. Those are some big shoes to fill. Yeah. No, really. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I were her, I'd have so much like pressure. Pressure. Definitely. Like, but I don't wait did you see the video of her walking in the runaway she was like holding her phone and like a small oh but bag. yes and then people were confused as to why she was walking like that <laughs> exactly that's <laughs> what i want to talk about like it was interesting it was interesting it and was it, interesting mm-hmm. it goes back to like i don't know if you are familiar with like 90s uh runway shows they kind of brought this dramatic flair to the shows mm-hmm. whereas i think that was the goal for kaya's walk to kind of bring this dramatic flair to the show because that's not really seen nowadays. It's kind of just straight walk out and come back. Mm-hmm. Show the model. Show the outfit. Um, but I thought it was... I actually really liked it. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. I liked it because, again, I referenced it. I, when I saw it, it reminded me of, like, these 90s runway shows where, like, they would be extra dramatic. They would be, like... They would be really expressive in their facial features. They would... In their body language. I loved it. I, I truly did like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I think Kaya is a really strong model. She has potential. She definitely can do soft, powerful, bold. She can do it all. And with someone uh, like your mom, Cindy Crawford, I think she definitely has that coaching yeah. from her, oh, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. You know? So. Yeah. But what also, did you think about it, though? The walk? I Kaya's walk? I didn't like it. No, just because it was kind of good. like... We have different opinions. Awkward, I guess? Awkward? Yeah, mm-hmm. how I saw it. But I've seen her, like, do a bunch of other, like, shows, like, mm-hmm. walking. and One of her first shows, she's killed it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, like, obviously, like, she's all, she also started at a young age because of her mom. Because of her mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, obviously, she, um, s- as same as, like, Kendall, they have those connections. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like she's kind of, I'm not saying, like, forced into it. Like, we don't know, like, her. Did she choose to? I'm sure yeah. she did. No, I'm sure she did. I'm sure. And, like I said, she does have the potential. I think Kaya is. And she she's younger, right? Oh, yeah. She's. she's yeah. She just turned 21, I believe. She's younger. So, obviously, you know, give her time. Give her some time to, like, develop her, her sense of look, her sense of style, her sense of carrying herself. Because she's young. Mm-hmm. She's still figuring stuff out just like we are. You know, she's young. 
um yeah she has years ahead like definitely. look at her mom now like her mom's still modeling too. her mom is still but, like they're such a i know they're such a duo i love it i love and it she really looks like her mom yes <laughs> yes <laughs> like the features mm-hmm. like if you look it's like mm-hmm. same person and i know that uh i don't know if you've seen that vogue issue where it's like she dressed like seven looks for seven days oh i love yeah. that video <laughs> i love those videos yeah. um she has a lot of pieces that are her mom it's like oh this is my mom's and i just borrowed it and i'm like that is so cool like, i would do the same thing how I iconic mean, if my mom was a supermodel how <laughs> iconic i know it's just it brings in like that sort of like again 90s uh you know inspired feel to her looks mm-hmm. which i think she does really well yeah. she does very well that's true yeah but i personally loved her look at her walk i know it wasn't like a necessarily popular walk but i think it's a step in a different direction and mm-hmm. i really liked it that's true yeah and then you know like she probably um trying something like new something new exactly because also what mm-hmm. she was wearing it mm-hmm. was very different from her previous outfits mm-hmm. from other like shows yeah this show this look that she had was very like voluminous very free-flowing she had like the ability, colorful really colorful mm-hmm. she's not really known for doing those kind of looks but i think it worked for her yeah personally so the last topic for fashion week um so i've been seeing a lot of stuff of how people well not people so like social influencers mm-hmm. and actresses mm-hmm. are also like being recruited as models yes so i don't know if invited you... to the met gala oh that's one of, yeah <laughs> yes. we're gonna talk about that too mm-hmm. but um but yeah to know, fashion the, shows yeah so like you know chloe cherry chloe cherry uh, the one yes. who plays bay in um in euphoria, euphoria. <laughs> yeah yes. i didn't know I'm pretty sure she's known as an actress. She is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I saw her like at Fashion Week, I was like, oh, like every so everyone can be a model now. <laughs> everyone can be a model as long as you're rich and mm. you're famous. <laughs> no, but again, it goes back to like fashion. It, Euphoria is a really big thing right now in pop culture. Mm-hmm. Fashion often reflects and replicates what is in pop culture um, because fashion like I said, reflects it. It, it. it honestly didn't come as a surprise to me that they had invited Chloe Cherry to be on these shows because it's so popular. She has this potential to be a model. She is definitely looks different. Oh, I was going to say that. Mm-hmm. She looks different from the traditional model, but definitely. I feel like she definitely brings her own like flair to it. She brings her own look to it. Mm-hmm. She's not everyone's favorite. That's fine. But I think that I, I don't know maybe to her she's like she, never in a million years would she imagine she's walking in fashion week yeah w- right just a, around the same time that euphoria is coming out there's all this hype around it i don't think she would have ever expected that mm-hmm. i think it's interesting though because again fashion reflects whatever's happening in the world and whatever's popular so the fact that they brought her on i think was no yeah. surprise let's see yeah actually now that i think about it, it's really expected yeah and exactly. it's like perfect uh-huh. timing because like euphoria perfect just perfect timing ended. for her so it's like yeah she's for her g- it couldn't be better timing mm-hmm. honestly she's probably gonna be like really one of those like up and coming models mm-hmm. which is yeah good for her and like there are designers out there that could use her specific look i'm sure but again i guess the timing for her was just perfect mm-hmm. because fashion week euphoria it all worked out for her yeah mm-hmm. but also goes back to like the met gala the met gala which was in september i want to say yeah mm-hmm. so like so many people are getting like invited like Addison Ray. <laughs> Addison Ray. I'm like oh at the God. Met Gala. Yeah, like a TikToker. It's like a TikToker. I know. Yeah. Like, how do it's yeah? It's really going back to pop culture and like what's, what's in popular. right now. Mm-hmm. And obviously, she's like, I guess she's in right now. I guess. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, I, I guess. Mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it does go back to like that. Whatever's popular, they're gonna bring them on, mm-hmm. uh, whether we like it or not. If they're popular, they're gonna be a part of this fashion industry in some way shape or form that goes back to addison ray she doesn't have any fashion experience she's not a fashion no. student she's yeah. not she doesn't even do tiktoks on fashion literally but she's there yeah. at the met gala which i think it makes me a little sad because i think there's so many people with this knowledge on the industry and can actually bring something new and innovative mm-hmm. to these shows i know it's an exclusive event i know but the fact that they would invite someone like a tiktoker yeah it seems kind of like there are these people that are working in the industry every day and then they bring on someone like Addison Rae. You know what I mean? I want to talk to Anna Wintour. <laughs> Anna Wintour, we need to talk. <laughs> oh my gosh. But obviously, like, you know, she's like the editor-in-chief of Vogue. All she's things also, go through her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she's also in charge of the Met Gala. She is. Every she's year, the so. I don't know. I want to know how, like, what the process is for choosing who comes to these events yeah, like, i think there's like a prelimination process i think they're they're selective with who they invite because again they bring in whoever's popular at the moment and mm-hmm. i think i don't think goddess and ray has been really popular lately 
Yeah. May, she, might just be me. Well, I don't know. I don't. Um, might like, just be me. Yeah, but like around the time either. of the Met Gala, she was. She was really yeah. popular. She was really gaining this. It was She had that movie deal on Netflix. Oh, she has yeah, that yeah, yeah. brand. I want to yeah, say with Sephora. Oh, really? Do you remember? I don't know. If but I know she's part of the. I think she's an ambassador for American Apparel. That too. I think. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, right now I haven't been seeing stuff about her. Again, so these, these kind of opportunities are kind of handed to her. Granted, mm-hmm. she worked with quote worked for yeah, it <laughs> worked, for, worked for it but these are opportunities that are given to her because she has this sort of fame mm-hmm. attached to her name um i know when you hear her name now it's like you're like oh i know who that is yeah you know unless you're like not on tiktok, not on TikTok. <laughs> and then again that's another thing like if you're not on tiktok you don't know who this person is mm-hmm. so again is that a really relative person in pop culture would you say because not everyone's on tiktok a lot of us are but not all of us yeah yeah, I think it's interesting. I think, but then also another, you could say, influencer that was invited to the Met Gala, Emma Chamberlain. Okay, I love Emma. No, me I too. Didn't I didn't even think her. about that, but I love Emma. No, but her videos, if you watch her, like, YouTube videos. Exactly. Revolves around fashion. Exactly. And she even talks about in her, like, own podcast, like, how her fashion has changed throughout exactly. the years. Mm-hmm. But, like, she literally went to one of the fashion weeks last year with her dad like yes. she was invited mm-hmm. to the i think it's the louis vuitton one the louis vuitton show mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes and so then the really to cool. the met gala she also wore a louis vuitton dress mm-hmm. which again it shows wait like, doesn't she i think she's an ambassador for that is she i think she is yeah i want to say she is um just because she's already this is her second time working with the brand when she went to the met gala so i want to say yeah i yeah. think they're i think she, she might, deserves to be there again she's an influencer and also she's like soup she's like my age yeah which she's like <laughs> Yeah, she's 20? like 20 something. I she's, think she's She's 20? young. Or she's turning 21. But like, you know, like, but she started when she was younger too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, she's really. So I guess these are two different examples. Emma Chamberlain being one example mm-hmm. of someone, an influencer, you can say, invited to the Met Gala, but who has interest in fashion, has some sort of knowledge on it. Because she doesn't put looks together just because she feels, she has this sort of knowledge, this yeah. ground knowledge on fashion. And she's still learning too. But exactly. Like, she has, like, and she's super transparent like, about everything exactly. that she does, you know, which I love that about her. And then there's someone like um, Addison Rae who doesn't really into fashion. She's not a part of the fashion world, but she was still invited. Mm-hmm. So I guess these are two just different examples of people that are invited due to their, I guess, status. Status? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to say status. Um, but just two completely different examples. Mm-hmm. But they were invited to the same event. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But we'll just see in um, the next fashion week, which is for the spring and summer spring, one. Summer. Yeah, mm-hmm. so spring, that's summer. later in the year. Mm-hmm. And then Met I Gala. love the fall winter ones. The fall winter ones have a special place in my heart, yeah. truly. I love like, them. Yeah, my favorite season is fall. And I think same. it's nicer because, you know, like you get to layer up. So mm-hmm. more like options for like pieces mm-hmm. and what you want to do. But, but yeah, um, that's all it for today but thank you all for tuning in with me i will see you all next time for my next episode we will be discussing and doing a little recap of fashion weeks because by then it will all be done but make sure to look out but um look out for that see you guys next time bye thank you